Hey guys, uh, what a show. It was, it was great, you know, um, great show. We had a lot of fans, you know, I, I appreciate all the love and support. Um, you know, I, I fought hard. I, I tried to uh, you know, make history. I tried to move up and wait and, you know, I thought I was going to be able to pull it off and unfortunately it wasn't my way. You know, I got to give credit to Errol. He had a great game plan. You know, he used that, that jab, that distance, you know, he knew how to control that very well. A few moments that I tried to make adjustments, you know, he had something in return. So, you know, he, he showed, you know, great boxing. Um, you know, I, I tried to do everything I could to make my adjustments, but, you know, just couldn't, couldn't get it off. But I'm still very, very happy with the performance. You know, I tried my best and, um, you know, we worked hard for this. I really wanted to win it and, you know, it just, uh, a little, a little bummed out I couldn't pull it off, but um, overall, you know, it was a great experience, great show. Uh, you know, Errol Spence is a terrific champion, you know, the best in the welterweight division, you know, very strong. And I'm just uh, very happy that we were able to put this fight together. This is what boxing needs, you know, two of the best pound for pound fighters fighting each other, you know, and, and uh, that doesn't come often, you know, it doesn't happen often. So I was very happy that we could put this together. I'm sure all the fans. You know, we're, we're watching and excitement and, you know, all the people watching on, on pay-per-view, I'm sure they all also got a, you know, a good treat from it because, um, you know, it's it's, uh, it's not often that we get these type of fights and, and that's what I want to give, you know, nothing but great fights and I think we, we succeeded at that. So I just want to say thank you everybody, you know, for, for coming up, you know, um, anything else, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what happens after this, but, um, you know, I, I thought it was, it was a good show. Thank you. Mikey, this is Jaime with All Access Elite Boxing. Uh, my question to you is, you know, you took this fight, as you stated, you fight for legacy. Your dream was to win a, you know, five titles in five different divisions. Um, you went and aimed straight at the best fighter, pound for pound at 147. Do you foresee yourself in the future <coughs> potentially fighting a Thurman, a Pacquiao, or even a Crawford, uh, or even a Porter for that matter? in hopes of achieving your dream? Well, I'll, I'll go back right now, um, talk to my dad, my brother, um, and make a decision. Right now, I don't have a decision made yet. I feel that, um, you know, there are other names that I could possibly, you know, get a title from, and I could still pull it off, but uh, it wasn't possible tonight. You know, we, we fought the best welterweight, you know, the, the, the baddest man on, in that division, and. We just couldn't pull it off, but uh, we'll go back and see what options we have. You know, I could, I could stay at, at a little weight class maybe, or, or maybe stay there and go after a different title. Mike, antes que nada, felicidades por el corazón enorme, no solamente tú, sino de toda tu familia. Eh, un momento en donde tu esquina decía ya no más. Sin embargo, el corazón de ese guerrero mexicano que tienes te hizo ir adelante. Te comento que las redes sociales estallaron en México y con los paisanos aquí en Estados Unidos. Hoy te respetan más a pesar de la derrota. ¿Qué significa que la raza te siga apoyando en las buenas y las malas? No, gracias, mira, en realidad yo, yo estuve peleando lo, lo mejor que pude, tratando de, de, de sacar la pelea adelante. Él es muy buen peleador, tenía, tenía muy buena respuesta para todo lo que yo quise hacer. Y entonces eh, hubo un, unos rounds donde me conectó bastante. Eh, y pues sí, la esquina, para cuidar al peleador, Trató, pensó que a lo mejor era tiempo de, de parar la pelea. Dije a mi hermano que no, yo, yo estaba bien, no estaba lastimado, me, me conectó golpes, pues es boxeo, eh, gracias a Dios es boxeo, pero no me lastimó. Yo, yo me sentía todavía con, con ganas de continuar y, y pues sí, el, el corazón, yo, yo pensé que yo podía todavía sacar esta pelea y conectar un golpe y tomarlo y, y sacar la victoria. Desafortunadamente no se pudo. Estoy contento de que todo mi público me ha respaldado bien, se llenó de, de mucha gente que vino a apoyarme. Y pues demostré que en realidad este, tengo, tengo para competir, para estar en estas, en estas divisiones, aunque no fue de mi parte, no fue de mi lado. A lo mejor hay otro campeonato que sí pueda conseguir eh, más en el futuro. Ahorita no tengo planes todavía, pero eso lo veremos eh, en un futuro cercano.
Rápidamente, me dijo recientemente Lomachenko, y esta va para Robert y para ti, me dice, si están en, en 135, si vuelven a esa división, lo estoy esperando, la, la, la pelea que mucha gente quiere. Sí, sí, en, en peso ligero es la pelea más, más interesante, en realidad una pelea con Lomachenko será lo, lo más grande, eh, espero poder conseguirla, en realidad esa, esa es una pelea muy atractiva, eh, voy a, a ver qué se puede hacer para, para negociar esa pelea, porque sí es una pelea que el público ha pedido bastante ya en, en pares, par de años, eh, pero como digo, no tengo planes todavía, no sé en qué división voy a, a estar, déjame, hablo con, con mi hermano y pronto les daremos una respuesta. The first question, you know, about the, uh, you know, the fight itself, uh, you know, I showed a lot of heart and a lot of people uh, now respect me a lot more for, for the way I fought and, and you know, for going against the best and, you know, honestly, like I said, you know, I tried, I fought well, I fought hard. At one point, my, my brother mentioned, you know, maybe it's time to maybe, you know, call it a night or, you know, he doesn't want to get me, you know, see me get hurt and my dad also, but I, I wasn't hurt at, at any point like that. I got hit a couple of boxing, you know, I got hit with a couple of shots, it's the way it is. But uh, I said, no, 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 let me, let me continue, you know, let me, let me fight through, let me, let me, I can still pull it off. I felt like I probably still could. I felt like I, I could have, you know, one punch and maybe turn it around. Unfortunately, it didn't go that way. Um, and then to the uh, question about Lomachenko, I would love a fight with Lomachenko, but I haven't made a decision to come down to 135 just yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, let me sit back with my brother later and my dad, and we'll figure out what division I'm gonna come down. And if I, maybe I stay at 47, maybe I come down to 35, but at 35, that is the most interesting fight with Lomachenko, and I would love to take on that fight. This is a question for Earl. This is World Breaker Fighting. My question is, pushing out all the politics and all the other things that are involved in boxing, what is it gonna take to, to make you undisputed to, to unify this division? A lot of fans are really clamoring for a unified 47. Um, you know, it's just gonna take everybody to cooperate. I mean, <clears throat> we got Porter, um, he said he wants to fight. Then we got um, Thurman who has the belt. And then you know, the most difficult fight to be made is the Terrence Crawford fight. So, you know, I don't know how that's gonna get made. I mean, it's for Bob to talk to, you know, my management, Al. And uh, they come to agreement, but you know, I think that I mean, the Manny Pacquiao full fight was made, so you know, I think it'll happen. Okay. Congratulations, Spence. And this um, question is for Mikey. Were you surprised by Spence's power? Look, um, you know, he's got power. He does have power. Um, I, I felt like I was blocking a lot of the shots early on, and and um, I was trying to give him trouble. By, by not landing shots, but then he started picking up the pace a lot more, and it was hard for me to keep up that that uh, that defense. You know, so shots started coming through. Um, like I said, at, at no one point did he hurt me and stun me like that. Um, but um, he, he does have power. Um, I felt good though. I felt strong also. I, I felt like I could also hurt him possibly, but it just it just wasn't there. You know, the, he was slick and he avoided you know getting hit and. By the time I would try to come back, you know, you know, he had more punches on top, and it was it was a good fight. You know, he put up a very good fight. Errol, I remember you told me in our interview that you are going to surprise people because you do box. You are a well-rounded fighter. Going back to that, Mikey, were you surprised by that that he could actually have the angles? He had ring IQ. He was not just a brawler; he was also a boxer. No, I wasn't surprised. You know, I know he has all the skills. Like I said before, you know, he reminds me of myself a lot. You know, because he does everything very well. Very good footwork, good speed, distance, timing. You know, he, he does it very well. Um, and he had an answer to every adjustment that I tried to do. When I tried to put a little bit of pressure and walk forward, he said maybe steps back, kept that distance, get that jab out there. And, and it was working for him, you know. He used his distance and reach very effectively. And when I was trying to box on the outside, he knew how far to walk forward. He didn't get too close. You know, he's very good. He reminds me of me. And, uh, you know, he pulled off a, a great game plan and he had answers for everything that I tried to do. Um, it just wasn't, you know, it's not that I was surprised. I knew he was going to be able to do this and, and he, he pulled it off very well. We're going to let uh, Errol Spence go. Uh, did you have a question? You had a question for Spence? Okay, this is the last question for Spence here and then we're going to let him go. Go ahead. Hey, Errol, um, most people consider Terrence Crawford the best pound for pound fighter in the world. 
and you're the best welterweight in the world. And most people were clamoring to see that fight. After a hell of a performance today, people are going to be clamoring for even more. Are you willing to go to Terrence Crawford, a mere con fight, to, to put more pressure on Terrence Crawford to make that fight happen next? No. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you.